Okay guys, how's it going? So you might have already seen this in the last video. This is my flexing for seven weeks out. It actually was not April 6th, it was April 7th, 164.4 pounds. Now I'm just gonna show a little clip of this. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing uh, because this video is to show different lighting and why different lighting can affect what your physique looks like. So people might judge you differently depending on what lighting condition you're in. For instance, this is room lighting. This is actually really bright light. I changed my light, <clears throat> so I look a little bit more cut down my past videos, and I noticed that as well. Um, I decided to change the light because it was too dim in here, but that did make my shreds look a lot better in past videos for this weight. Now, that being said, I'm gonna be showing different locations. For instance, this is in the washroom. It's a little bit dimmer um, in here. As you can see, can see, there's a lot more noise in the camera. Um, the next one will be natural lighting, and then there'll be one more in the kitchen, which is like straight down lighting, which I and it's a little bit of natural lighting, which I find is the best lighting source to show your physique. Now, uh, that being said, I want to talk a little bit about my like cutting down and why this week was especially like a big change, and why the next coming weeks you're gonna be seeing big results. Now, I'm supposed to be 166. My goal was being 166 for this Saturday. Um, today's Friday, and I'm 164.4, and I checked my weight yesterday. So I just used that because I'm today's my rest day. So 164.4, guys, that's, that's 1.6 pounds less than what I was supposed to weigh. Now, someone has been saying that you should not be doing cardio that much. You should at least do it three times a week. Now, if you're in men's physique or if you're in any type of bodybuilding competition, for instance, let's just say Ryan Terry, he's a Olympian. He got second place, if I'm not mistaken, at the Olympia for men's physique. He does one hour of fasted cardio almost every single day. And on top of that, he's probably working out twice a week, if not um, adding more cardio as well to that one hour of fasted cardio. Now, what I'm doing this week is 15 minutes of fasted cardio. This is every time I have a workout day, which I do work out three times and I have one break. So it's but roughly six times a week I would work out. And I would do 15 minutes of fasted cardio in the morning, meaning I don't eat anything, don't drink anything, except for BCAs. I do have BCAs during my fasted cardio. Um, then after my workout, I would do 15 minutes of hit cardio on the treadmill. If you don't know what hit cardio is, it's pretty much slow pace and fast pace. You can search it up. I probably have a video talking about hit cardio. But anyways, yeah, so this week especially, I stuck to everything. I mean, I stuck 110% to everything. Now, I did lose what I needed to lose for last week. I, my goal was 168, and I did meet 168. Um, and every single week, I am incorporating more cardio, meaning I'm adding about five minutes of fasted cardio um, every single week. Now, the fact that I'm adding on fasted cardio every single week, that's just going to enhance the process or make the process go by faster meaning i can see why i'm losing a little bit more weight faster um along the weeks and the week coming so the closer i get to my show the more cardio i add on meaning the more weight i'm gonna lose well it will be harder to lose but i am gonna be losing weight and you could see in my back especially or my waist my waist is definitely getting tighter it's making my back look a lot wider you can see in these poses here and I think that that's that's the first source of fat that I lose is in my back area or in my upper abdominal region. The last parts, this is for most people as well, is the lower abs and the lower chest um, and the love handles. Those are one of the harder spots to lose fat. Those are like the last bits of where your body wants to remove the fat. Everywhere else, you know, upper back, arms, those are the first things to start losing fat. Shoulders, you know, I could go on and on with that. But I just wanted to say that stick to your routine because what I'm seeing is when I'm sticking to my routine, I'm losing a lot more weight and I'm happy that I'm losing a lot more weight because, you know, I'm my, like my main goal is to be 153, 154 for this coming competition, currently 164. So I still got a long ways ahead of me for seven weeks. Um, you may say that I'm losing a lot of weight too fast and that could be the case. But since I'm taking BCAs, my muscles are looking bigger. They aren't looking full because I'm not eating complex carbs. Now, you got to realize that when you don't eat complex carbs, your muscles have no type of glyco glycogen in them, if that makes sense. Actually, uh, well, they just, they're just not as full. They look a little flat, but the muscles are still there because um, those BCAs are helping definitely during that cardio. 
Now, this is pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to say what I was doing, how I'm feeling, and right now I am feeling really good. I've been eating chicken, vegetables, sweet potatoes almost every single week, and I'm enjoying it. And guys, let's get to this show. Let's win this show. Let's go hard. And we got seven weeks left. I'll see you guys in the